this right here is our grandparents. It was only five years ago, 17-year-old Taylor Going was adopted. Prior to that, he was in the foster care system, hoping and waiting for a family. You know, while we were in the system, th there's nothing else to do but get in trouble. There's nobody really watching after you. A system that Taylor's adoptive mother, Connie Going, says can oftentimes fail the child. These children need families. They don't need more staff. They don't need foster. I mean, they need someone to hold them and not let go. Going has been a social worker and child advocate for more than 30 years in the state of Florida. Please welcome Davian Only and his case worker, Connie Going. She may look familiar. She's been on programs like The View and ABC News, including her son Taylor. Connie has adopted four children over the years. What makes the children that I've adopted different? Not a lot, except they chose a different path. But I guarantee there were points in their life where they felt they had nobody. That's the ultimate goal, says Going, finding a family. She points out that when kids fail to reunite with families or find a place in a permanent home, it can lead to aging out. Also stressing that kids are now aging out at a frightening rate. Not only that, but young people who age out of foster care, instead of returning home or being adopted, may face some serious challenges down the road. But if you took a poll of all the children that had aged out, you would find high rates of homelessness, drug addiction, pregnancy, and it is a straight line to the jail system. When they age out at 18, they must confront a number of adult responsibilities that many times they can't handle. I don't think any of our children at 18 are ready. I just, I think it's a fantasy. I think the thing that it's, even your biological children, think about them at 18. Okay, bye, see you, have a good life. To help, Florida extends care services up to 21 instead of 18 in some cases, but it's not enough. And in the majority of the cases, there is no one there for them. That person that they, I mean, think about it. Who's really committed to them? Who's going to be with them after 18? It's, it's difficult. It's estimated that one-third of the kids who age out of the system will experience homelessness. In the state of Florida alone, there are more than 600 children who are at risk of aging out of the system. Bottom line says going, more needs to be done. I think we need living, we need living programs, we need housing programs. Um, I think of all these hotels that are closing down and I look at them, I'm like, oh man, if I could just have that one. And we'd put this child here and this child here because these kids are, they've been through so much. And Taylor understands firsthand. He says if he wasn't adopted, his life could have taken a turn for the worst. I'm very happy. It's li literally saved my life. If you know, you know, previously stated, if I was not adopted, I would not be anywhere near where I am today. And I have to thank myself because I raised myself, but I also have to think, thank my mom for adopting me and, and getting me out of that horrible, horrible situation that, you know, is the foster care system.